So, Microsoft Windows. It's the operating system that's been at the heart of our digital lives for as long as most of us can remember. Whether you're working, gaming, or just browsing the web, chances are you've spent countless hours navigating its familiar interface. Over the decades, Windows has evolved from a simple graphical shell to a powerful feature-rich platform that powers everything from home laptops to enterprise workstations. And, like clockwork, Microsoft rolls out major updates every year or so, each promising new features, better security, and a smoother experience. The naming system is pretty straightforward. The number refers to the year, and H2 means it's the second half of that year. So when you see 25H2, you know it's the big update scheduled for late 2025. But let's clear up a common misconception. This isn't Windows 12. Don't expect a dramatic redesign or a completely new experience. Instead, 25H2 is all about refining what's already there, making Windows 11 more reliable and enjoyable to use. What makes 25H2 unique is that it's what Microsoft calls an enablement package. That means most of the new features and improvements were actually delivered earlier in the 24H2 update, but they were hidden in the background waiting to be switched on. So when you install 25H2, you're not downloading gigabytes of new data or reinstalling your whole system. Instead, the update simply unlocks those features, making the process much faster and less disruptive. It's a subtle change, but it makes a big difference for users who just want things to work. This smarter, more efficient approach is a direct response to the headaches many users face during the rocky 24H2 rollout, which was plagued by bugs and lengthy installations. Microsoft listened to the feedback and decided to prioritize a smoother, more reliable update process. By building on the same foundation, Microsoft is focusing on stability and polish. They're not reinventing the wheel but rather making sure the ride is smoother for everyone, whether you're a casual user or a power user juggling multiple apps. The goal here is simple, deliver meaningful improvements that enhance your daily workflow without causing unnecessary interruptions. You'll notice subtle tweaks, better performance and a more seamless experience overall. 25H2 is about evolution, not revolution. Microsoft is listening to user feedback, addressing pain points and making sure that the operating system feels stable, secure, and intuitive. The changes may not grab headlines, but they matter. From a smoother installation process to more reliable recovery options, every tweak is designed to improve your quality of life and reduce frustration. This update is about making Windows 11 just a little better, a little smarter, and a lot less frustrating, so you can focus on what matters most to you. In the end, 25H2 is the next step in making everyday technology work for you, quietly improving the experience behind the scenes so you can get more done with less hassle. Let's talk about the update process, something that's often met with a sigh or a groan. We've all been there. You're ready to get started on your work or enjoy some downtime, and suddenly your computer demands an update. It's a familiar interruption that can throw off your entire schedule. But with the arrival of 25H2, things are about to change. This update is faster than ever and it's designed to fit seamlessly into your day, not disrupt it. We all dread those long disruptive updates that seem to take forever, watching progress bars crawl by, waiting for your device to come back to life. It's a universal frustration, whether you're at home or in the office. But here's the good news. 25H2 is an enablement package, which means the upgrade from 24H2 is almost instant. No more waiting for massive downloads or lengthy installations. Think of it like flipping a switch. Features are already on your device, just waiting to be activated. You're not downloading gigabytes of new files, so the process is incredibly efficient. For most users, it's a quick download and a single restart. In just a few minutes, you're up to date and ready to go, instead of being stuck waiting for hours. This means you can update your device during a short coffee break, not an entire afternoon. It's a small window of time, but it makes a big difference in your day. For IT departments, rolling out 25H2 across hundreds or even thousands of machines is now a breeze. The streamlined process saves time, reduces downtime, and minimizes disruption for everyone in the organization. Microsoft's message is clear, updates should be seamless, not a chore. They want to make sure that staying current is as easy as possible, so you can focus on what matters most. The easier it is to stay up to date, the more people benefit from the latest features, performance improvements, and security enhancements. It's about making technology work for you, not against you. It might seem like a small change on the surface, 
but it's actually a huge leap forward in how we maintain and protect our PCs. Less hassle, more peace of mind. Now, updates run quietly in the background letting you keep working or relaxing without interruption. They're no longer productivity killers, they're just another part of your device's routine. That's a win for everyone, users, IT teams, and anyone who just wants technology to work smoothly every single day. The blue screen of death is legendary, a symbol of frustration and panic for generations of Windows users. For decades, it's been the universal sign that something has gone terribly wrong with your PC, instantly recognizable by its bright blue hue and cryptic error codes. But with the arrival of Windows 25H2, Microsoft is making a bold change. The infamous blue screen is being replaced by the black screen of death. This isn't just a simple color swap or a cosmetic update. It's a deliberate move that reflects a shift in how Microsoft wants users to experience system errors. The change is a direct response to the 2024 CrowdStrike incident, where a faulty update triggered widespread outages and chaos in offices and homes around the world. The blue screen became a symbol of anxiety and disruption. The new black screen is designed to be less alarming, aiming to reduce panic and help users focus on recovery. It's part of a smarter, more user-friendly recovery process that guides you through what to do next. You'll still see the error codes that tech support needs, but the overall look is more modern, less jarring, and feels like it belongs in today's world of sleek interfaces. The black screen fits perfectly with Windows 11's dark mode and the trend toward minimalist, mature design. It signals a more stable, resilient operating system, one that's grown up. This update is rolling out to both 24H2 and 25H2 devices, marking the end of an era for the blue screen and the beginning of a new chapter in Windows reliability. The goal is to make system failures less jarring, recovery more intuitive, and the whole experience less stressful. For those who feel nostalgic for the blue, it's understandable, but this change is about progress. The black screen of death is a step forward, representing a new era of calm, clarity, and control when things go wrong. Ultimately, the black screen is more than just a new look. It's a symbol of a more resilient Windows. Less drama, more recovery, and a future where errors don't have to mean panic. Crashes are bad, but endless reboot loops are worse. 25H2 introduces smarter recovery tools to break that cycle. If your PC fails to start a couple of times, it'll automatically launch the Windows recovery environment. No more hunting for bootable USBs or obscure key combos, recovery tools are front and center. This makes it easier for anyone to fix their PC, not just techies. For businesses, it means fewer machines stuck in limbo and faster repairs. Windows is now proactive, trying to fix itself after a crash. It's a big step toward a more robust, self-healing operating system. Recovery is no longer a last resort, it's built in. Security is getting a major upgrade in 25H2. Traditionally, antivirus and security tools ran in the kernel, the core of Windows. That's powerful but risky. A bug in kernel-level software can crash your whole system, as we saw with the CrowdStrike fiasco. Now Microsoft is moving security software into user mode, a safer, more isolated environment. If security software crashes, it won't take down your whole PC. This change boosts both stability and security, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. Attackers have a harder time targeting the kernel, and your system is less vulnerable to buggy third-party code. The new platform gives security tools what they need, without full kernel access. A private preview starts July 2025, marking a smarter, safer future for Windows. It's a fundamental shift in how Windows protects you. Compatibility worries? Not with 25H2. Because it's built on the same core as 24H2, Everything that worked before will keep working. Hardware, drivers, software, games. No need to hunt for new drivers or fear your printer will stop working. Businesses with legacy software can upgrade without a lengthy testing cycle. The flip side, any bugs from 24H2 may still be present unless specifically fixed. But Microsoft's focus, this cycle is on reliability and bug fixes. The key takeaway, 25H2 won't break what's already working. It's a safe, stable path forward. Here's a crucial reason to update support lifecycles. Each Windows version comes with a set period of security updates and support. Installing 25H2 resets your clock. Home and Pro users get two more years, Enterprise and Education get three. Staying current means your PC is protected against new threats. For businesses, it's about compliance and planning. 
unsupported systems are a huge risk. Microsoft's annual updates keep everyone moving forward together. The easier the update, the more likely people will stay protected. The real value, peace of mind, and ongoing security. 25H2 arrives just as Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. After that, Windows 10 won't get free security updates, making it a target for hackers. Many have stuck with Windows 10 for its stability, but the end of support deadline changes everything. 25H2 is Microsoft's invitation to upgrade, a stable, secure landing spot for Windows 10 users. Staying on Windows 10 after support ends is risky, no patches, more vulnerabilities. For individuals it's about protecting your data, for businesses it's about avoiding costly breaches. 25H2 isn't just for current Windows 11 users, it's the bridge for everyone still on Windows 10. The message is clear, the future is Windows 11 and the time to move is now, don't wait until it's too late. 25H2 may look minor but it's one of Microsoft's most important updates. It's all about stability, security, and a seamless experience. No flashy features, just real improvements. The upgrade is fast, recovery is smarter, and compatibility is guaranteed. You get a fresh support lifecycle keeping your PC protected. For businesses it means easier management and stronger security. The new security architecture is a leap forward, and the long support window brings peace of mind. After some rocky updates Microsoft is showing its listening and focused on getting the basics right. In a world where reliability is everything, 25H2 strengthens the foundation. With Windows 10's end looming, 25H2 is the perfect polished destination for everyone making the switch. It's incremental.